Hello everybody, my name is Nicole Elliott and I'm a technical analyst and private investor. And today I thought we'd look at sort of all things USA in that there's an important central bankers meeting, but most important today, the Fed president, Mr. Powell is going to make an important speech where he might change the way the Fed calculates inflation. But my first chart is a weekly one. It goes back to early 2019 and it's the yield on the benchmark 10-year US Treasury. And what's happened this month, it's moved up from a record low of 50 basis points, not a record low, an almost record low of 50 basis points, to 70 basis points. And some people are suggesting this marks the first in a series of a change in the direction for yields in the United States government paper. Well, I think if you look at this chart, you can see the descending trend line, it's loud and clear. We've come down from over 3% in uh, beginning Q1 2019. Then we sort of hovered, hovered around 2%, um, sort of the, the end, second half of, of 2019. Then we had a big slump now in March with all sorts of other things that were slumping. And now what we're doing is holding under 1%. So we're really, really very, very low. The backup, I would say, is completely irrelevant in the scheme of things. So much so that today, uh, this week rather, they've had a record two-year auction and five-year auction of Treasury paper. By record, I mean they've sold more in one auction than they've ever, ever done before. And yet, you know what? They got snapped up. No problem at all. Absolutely no problem at all. People are happy to pay uh, up for top quality investment grade products. My second chart is linked to this. Um, and this is one of the many measures of inflation that the US produces. This is the um, core personal consumption deflator. This is the Fed's favorite measure of inflation. It's not consumer price index, it's slightly different. Um, and as you can see, for the last, well, 12 years or so, um, most of the time, the PCE, core PCE, has been trading below 2%. Now, 2% is the Fed's target. Okay, they should be aiming at inflation and full employment. Inflation at 2% and full employment. Well, I think you'll agree that full employment went out the window with the coronavirus. It has absolutely... Uh, kick their target into the long grass because now the consumer, the PCE is less than 1%. So it's less than half. Now, as I say, Jerome Powell's making an important speech today titled Monetary Policy Framework Review. And he's they, the Fed, are considering targeting average inflation, average inflation targeting rather than something like this. Um, and I think you'll agree that seeing as they failed to meet this target, they might as well tear it up and try for something that they might actually achieve. My third chart is something different again. It's a longer term chart where going back to 1960 and the red line, the red line and the dotted blue line are the yield on 10 and 30 year US treasuries. So, I mean, they're just reinforcing what we've seen in the first chart. So both 30 year and 10 year are resolutely marching downhill. Now, the solid blue line is the rate of return that is assumed by one of the largest pension funds in the world. This is the California Public Employees Retirement System, CalPERS. That's what it says at the top of the chart, CalPERS. And they are still, now obviously they're not going to be in, uh, just buying treasuries, they're going to be buying shares and then receive dividends and all the rest of it. And while their expected return has dipped a little bit this year, you can see it's still well over 7%. I mean, assuming a 7% return, which they have been doing since 1980. I mean, this is just pie in the sky stuff. So, I mean, you can just see that obviously there's a huge deficit in their pension planning. It's just not going to work. Um, I don't know how it's going to come out in the end, but it's really not good news. Take care and I'll see you next week.